Hi there, I'm Michael Ralph, and today we're going to be putting together a roly-poly culture. You're going to need everything you see right here. Most importantly, you need some large, preferably plastic container. You're going to need a water delivery system that we've built in another video, and paper towels. The first thing to get started is you need to put together your substrate. This is where you want paper towels. It's important that you want actual paper towels because the wood that the paper is made out of is going to be one of the primary sources of nutrition for our roly polies or pill bugs. So, lay down a base with just full paper towels and you're going to want to wet that base. After you have a base of full paper towels, you're going to want to put in some pieces of concrete or limestone. Hopefully you can find those rocks in your area, but you might want to go to a mineral rock and mineral website in order to obtain some limestone rock. The next step is I recommend adding some potatoes. You're going to want to hollow out halves of potatoes for roly polies to congregate within and place several of those inside your habitat. The next step is to take some more paper towels and you will want to shred these paper towels. Some long, relatively small strips, crumple those up and throw them in there to give some volume to your culture. So pepper in some more pieces of paper towel, nice and crumpled up, and again, you're going to want to wet the entire thing so that all of your paper towel is fairly damp. The final step is one last layer of full paper towels to cover it and keep everything below it considerably humid and damp. The last step after all of that is set up within your container is to add your water delivery system. You can see here You've got the opening with your twine or shoestring leading up into your chamber. And then tape down your twine as you snake it through and within all of the inner layers down here. That's going to continue to deliver more water as water begins to evaporate and keeps it damp for longer periods of time. The added benefit is this water level will continue to go down, so when it gets down to the bottom, you're going to know it's time to add more water, continue to keep this whole culture hydrated. Remember that drying out is the number one threat to roly-poly cultures. From here, you're ready to put this wherever you want it to be for the long term, and you're off and running. Good luck.